fellow craft nerds, it's Liz, your official craft nerd, and I am showing you a quick tutorial on how to make this really cool um, wine cork pumpkin for fall. Um, I actually saw the idea on Pinterest and thought I could totally do this. I've had about two boxes full of wine corks that friends have given me and I've collected. Um, over the past year and so I've had so many of these and I'm like I don't know what to do with them <laughs> um, but when I saw this idea on Pinterest I thought this is it this is gonna be something I can easily and quickly whip up um, some really cool pieces for fall um, as you see here all I'm doing is hot gluing these uh, corks down um, I did lay them out as far as how many I was gonna need now this is just based off of the the photo that I saw on Pinterest but you could make these any size that you would prefer so um, I basically just started off with a row of five and then I went up to a row of I believe it's seven and then let's see eight I believe eight I'm not sure <laughs> you can count um, but really it is just as simple as gluing these all together now there is a little trick with these corks um, of course you want to make sure that you get enough glue on there so you see me putting a good amount um, I do kind of slide the glue down on the side as I'm placing it down just so it'll stick not only on the bottom but on the sides um, you will notice if you're really just kind of sticking them on the bottom um, that it can kind of like piece apart um, it, it's kind of hard to explain but as long as you get it to where it's sticking both on the bottom and on the sides, the, the whole piece will be secure. Um, hot glue works really well. Um, you could probably use the E6000 if you wanted to use maybe a super glue as well. Um, I, of course, I just I love using hot glue for everything, um, but it is also very convenient if you mess up because I don't know if it's because of the material, the cork, um, but with this, if the glue messes up and you need to like you know fix it you can totally just peel it off so easy um, and then redo it and like you'll see me here <laughs> just easily peeling it off um, and then you can just just again put some new glue back on and you're good to go um, I did for this project use all the same size corks um, the owner I guess or whoever had these previously to me must have really loved this apothecary red and I've seen so many of these corks now that I'm like I think I just need to go get me some of my own um, because I absolutely love red wine sweet red to be exact um, but yeah this this was really fun to do just because I have had these corks for so long now and I've just been staring at them and I know that there's plenty of different projects out there that you can use these wine corks for um, but you know this was just finally something that I was like I would actually have this in my home and and uh, and use it for decor so um, again you can do whatever you know as far as how big you want this um, you can use different style corks you can use different color corks um, but you're gonna see here what I end up doing as far as the color goes I wanted these all to be just you know basic corks like this um, I'm gonna make sure it's all secured down. And it, as you can see, it kind of had like this little bit of a gap. So all I was doing is like fixing that, adding some glue in those spaces. So you don't really see it here because I took it off camera, but um, that's what I mean. When, if you don't get it all glued on the sides and the bottom, it'll kind of separate on you a little bit. So um, I take one final cork. I'm gonna use that for the stem and basically just putting on some glue on the very bottom. And then I will just pop it on the top. Um, but I'm actually going to paint first before I show you that. So <laughs> I guess I got a little bit ahead of myself. Um, what I did with, as far as colors go, um, I just wanted some real neutral type fall colors. So I was going to use oranges, browns, reds. I kind of mix them all together just to kind of get, um, more darker, uh, tones with these colors. I didn't want super bright orange on there. Um, only because it just, I don't know, it just stood out a little bit too much. Um, and then, it, you know, a little bit of water on the brush and it just kind of helps, you know, create more of like a stain. Um, and I don't, I don't paint every single one of these. I've, I've really wanted to keep some of the true color of the corks on there. 
um, because I just felt like it went with it. Um, but again, this is definitely a do whatever you want uh, as far as the coloring goes with these. If you wanted this to be all orange, you could have totally done all orange. If you want it to be whatever color you want. Um, I know right now it's very big with these pastel colors for pumpkins. You could totally do that. Um, or you can do black and white. I mean, whatever. I mean, your imagination, it, it, you know, do what you want. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to keep these muted again. I was really, you know, wanting to recreate what I saw um, Originally with the Pinterest and I just wanted to make sure I could do it Like that first, you know, and I've got so many corks y'all I could just go back and make a whole bunch more of these if I really wanted to but um, I just ended up doing two so and I really really loved the outcome of these um, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop talking now so you can just kind of watch the rest of this uh, and then I'll chime back in here in a moment. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so this is the part I'm putting the cork uh, stem on. And again, just a little dollop of glue on the bottom, stick it right on top. Um, then what I wanted to do is give it a little bit of greenery. So I'm actually using some leaves, which I guess is not really green, but you know what I mean. Um, and I'm just gluing a little bit of uh, the hot glue on the bottom of these leaves and just kind of sticking them in there. Um, and then I also had some of this uh, oh, I don't even twine with the berries you guys have seen it uh, Dollar Tree sells it um, every fall and Christmas these come out and so I had some orange and I had some red berries that I was able to pick up a while back and all I did was just twist a little stem around and there you have it this is the final project I absolutely adore it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, if you're new here I thank you so much for stopping by I really do hope you stick around and hit that subscribe button down below um, if you like the video give me a thumbs up I definitely appreciate that as well and if you're an old friend thanks so much for coming back till next time guys stay safe <laughs>